Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video, we successfully added our dashboard here. All that our CSS is now perfectly working. All that our JSS is also successfully working, right? Great. So now I want to do, I want to segment it. I want to segment our header um, header part. I want to segment that our sidebar part. Okay, so that is on the sidebar. I want to segment that sidebar and also I want to segment that footer part. It's very simple. Go to our admin master. Into this admin master, I have already take our main part. That means which part will be always changes. I want to take it in our index, right? Which is totally fine. Now I want to do, I want to segment our header. You can see that is our header part, right? That is a header is started, header is ended. If you open it, so that is our total header part. You can see there is a lot of the code actually. Uh, there is a lot of code. There's a header is started and header ended. So I simply minimize it, okay? I simply minimize it, that is a header part. I simply cut that header, and now I want to do um, in our admin, into this admin, I want to create another new folder. I name it as a body, okay? I name it as a body. And into this body area, I want to create three of this file. I simply click as a save as, I name it as a header, dot blade, dot PHP. So that is our header. And into this header area, I want to paste our header part. Okay, and also I want to do, I want to create another file, click as a new file, click as a save as, and I just name it as a um, sidebar, sidebar.blade.php. And also I want to take another one for the footer, new file, click as a save as, and I name it as a footer, dot blade, dot PHP. So I have already take our header, all the data in our header dot really dot php, right? Now I want to do uh, from to this position I take it. So here we have to do, we have to include it. Okay, we have to include this file. So that is it will be as a add the rate and include one of the method as include. So that is include and with this includes I want to do, I want to add our file name that I have created in our admin and then the body and that is our header. Right, so now I want to do to take it as a admin and then our another folder name I created as a body and then our file name as a header. Okay, friend, I hope it's very much clear to you. So now automatically that will be included our header file and into this header area I have already take our header part. Now that should be included in here. And also same as our left sidebar is started and left sidebar ended. I want to do to take out that div. Okay, here if you open it, you can see they have a lot of the things in here. Okay, there is a lot of file. So now I want to do and to minimize it again. I simply minimize it and now I want to do and to take it. I simply cut it. I simply cut it and now in our sidebar blade here I paste it. Now we have to also again include it. I make it as include include and then include our admin folder and then the body folder and here i name it as a sidebar right that will be as a sidebar great so i simply loaded included our header and included our sidebar so now if you click as a save all everything will be just like that same before if you now click as a refresh so now that is loaded okay and also they have i want to done to finish it and also there is a, another part as a footer part, better I select that footer, I simply cut this footer, okay, I simply cut this footer and now in our footer area, I simply paste it and then that will be also here we have to include, then I simply copy it and then I paste it, so that will be our another file as an admin body and I have created that as a footer, right? So then that will be as a footer, so that will be as a footer. Great, and then that is our right sidebar. Right sidebar actually for the setting. I don't need this setting. Okay, that is actually our setting. Right sidebar. You can see that is the right side is started and right side actually ended. So right now I want to do, I want to remove this right sidebar. I simply remove it. Now if you click as a save all. Now if you go, I want to refresh it again. Yeah, now you can see everything is work perfectly. So into the right side area, they have some of the things. So right now I simply remove it. Okay, so that is actually the right side for the reasons our theme is not working before. Right now it's perfect. Now oh, perfectly it's now loaded our footer, perfectly it's now loaded our sidebar and then the header. So if you simply remove it, if you simply remove it, now if you click the save wall, now our header not should be display. Now if you refresh it, now you can see header is totally gone right now that is our sidebar and that is our main body and that is our footer part okay friend now i want to do i want to again make it as a header now click as a save all now that should be display 
okay now that should be display so right now all that our total theme is segment with different type of pages one is the sidebar pages one is the header pages one is the footer pages and also that is our main content body part right so if you want to change anything in our um, header simply go to that our header area and you from here you can actually customize it if you want to change anything in our sidebar you can change it from to the sidebar area Right, so that is our sidebar area, that is our footer area, and that is our main index part. I hope friend, it's very much clear to you how much easily we segment or total our file. So in our admin master here, I have already take all that our CSS, I have already included all that our file, and I make it as a very clean right now, and I have also included all that our script, right? That means our JS file. So I have already taken everything and now in our index area, I only extended our admin master. So by default with this admin master, we'll get that CSS, we get that JSS, every file will get it from our admin master. Okay, so that will be actually our EL part. Here I make it as EL. Great. Now we successfully segment our total themes. Now actually let's look at it. In our next video, I want to do, I want to organize it. I want to make it sound clean. Okay, I want to clean that theme here. I want to update our header. I want to update that our sidebar. I want to update that footer. And also here I want to clean it. So how can do this work in our next video? I will show you that things with the live example. So thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video.